So, this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into it. This is going to be for August 1st to the 3rd. Now, keep in mind with this being general, you only want to take what does apply to you and let the rest fly. If you want more so of a personal reading, just check out the information listed in the description. And let's see what's going on in my Taurus. So first card is going to represent you and your present situation. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords. Now, I'm not looking at this in a negative sense. Actually, the way that this Ten of Swords is showing up to me, this is more so looking like you going through a metamorphosis. I feel like August is giving you guys like this boost of energy you guys really, really need. <clears throat> Um, especially with us being in Leo season, the energy is more high, right? Um, so with this, this is more so you guys going through a transformation where the negativity or like the doubtfulness or the like feeling sorry for yourself aspect is gone. Um, a lot of you are more so in this, okay, I'm tired of feeling sorry for myself. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of that. Let me get to moving. Okay. Especially if you've seen that like in... July, the things that you wanted to accomplish, the things that you wanted to do, you may have been delaying it. This is you no longer wanting to procrastinate in this month, or this is you like essentially looking at the results of last month and not necessarily being a hundred percent pleased with the results, but realizing what you need to do this month and you guys wanted to go a little bit harder. Okay. Um, also for some of you, you are processing like some sort of breakup. This could be like a final breakup that you may have initiated because you realize that you may not be getting what you once were getting from a relationship. Hmm. Yeah. This is just you realizing that you're done with certain things. You're done. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now... What actions you can take to make the most out of this time frame? We have the Knight of Materials. Hmm. So this is being patient with yourself. And when I say that, I mean like literally energetically patient with yourself. Like a lot of you are rebuilding in terms of um, like your health. You may have gotten out of like extreme surgery recently and like now you're getting back into the groove of things or you may have had a health scare that you had to deal with. Others of you, this is like um, the passing of someone and having to like build the energy to get going. Um, this is you need to be patient with yourself when it comes to getting back to yourself after a really bad breakup. With the weight loss journey, with the business with um this is a multitude of things be patient with yourself when it comes to rebuilding something but also when it comes to you guys recovering from something that you may have recently went through whether emotional or physical or financial if you're waiting for a job this is understanding that's going to come your way eventually everybody's going to get a job. It's just a matter of how long you can be patient. Okay. It, it's like just a high probability that eventually you will get a job. It's not like you're going to go 10 years without a job. If you keep applying for 10 years, unless you just have a horrible resume, but that's just an example. Same thing with love. It's all in a matter of making sure you, you stay ready. So you never have to get ready. Now, when it comes to the obstacle or challenge that may come up, I do have the six of cups. So this could be nostalgia, like you guys having moments of thinking about someone from your past or the person you may have children with. And for a lot of you, it's not intentional, but it is something that's creating an obstacle because for a lot of you, you know, you shouldn't really go back to that situation. So to think about that person, to give energy to that is just not healthy. Um, for some of you, um, this could be childhood trauma. Again, trauma associated with the person you have children with that may be affecting your ability to um, trust people. Huh. 
Hmm. Oh, this could also be a relationship with a sibling or a family member that could be coming up as a, an obscure issue. Or like an old friend or a friend you've been knowing for a long period of time. That may come up. But when it comes to the future, we do have the page of voices in reverse. So... I do see you guys not really giving in to someone's like petty antics. This may be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Or regardless of the sign, someone's petty antics, you guys are just going to separate yourself from it and not give energy to it. Um, there could be also like some sort of idea that you have that's more like in a financial sense. And you could be like, deciding not to act on it because you may be feeling like it's too wild and too crazy and it's too out there or it just may be too much work or energy that may go into this idea to actually develop it hmm but the last card is going to represent the advice and I have the magician. So point blank period, this is recognizing your personal power, your personal energy, and how strong, how powerful you are just in general when it comes to manifestation. And understanding, a lot of you do need to understand how manifestation works. It's more so a state of being than something that you attract in. It's what you are. So if you're someone who's always negative, then you will attract negativity. If you're someone who's always, um, you know, thinking about new ways to make money and, and, you know, finding ways to, to make money and, you know, things like that. If you're someone who pays attention to certain things and gives energy to certain things, that's what you start to become. And a lot of manifestation happens unconsciously in the subconscious and yeah if in the subconscious you have a lot of like old lingering past energy or just negative negative things to think about yourself or your experiences you will keep attracting that sorry about that guys but this is what I see I hope that this was helpful in any way if you did enjoy thumbs the video up and subscribe check out the description if you want a personal and I will see you in the next one. Bye.